Welcome to SmackDown Live, where hopefully we're about to get some sort of clarification from Brooklyn Von Braun on last week's shocking turn of events. I am a big fan of movies. Mostly the ones I've starred in, but there are some other ones that are okay too. But in any film, my favorite part is always near the end when the villain explains their big evil plan going over every single detail of how they pulled the wool over the stupid idiot hero's eyes. But in movies, this usually allows the hero time to escape or stop the bad guy in some way. But I'm not gonna be stopped. See, I already destroyed your idiot hero last week with the help of Samoa Joe. So now, I have all the time in the world to walk you through every single detail of my brilliant scheme. Like I said, this is my favorite part. So here we go. When I was GM, I brought Samoa Joe back, fully knowing what his plans were for attacking Trey in the best of five final and costing Red her title. In fact, I helped make those plans myself. Then, I gave Trey a title match against Adam Cole just so Joe could eventually take it from Trey. Sorry, Adam. After that, I inserted myself into the mixed match challenge as Trey's partner to earn his trust, giving me the opportunity to teach him the secret Coquina Clutch escape. Only when Joe got it on Trey and he thought he had it all under control, those ankles weren't crossed, were they? because it wasn't a secret anymore. I told Joe exactly what to expect, and Trey never had a chance. <laughs> now, unfortunately, to make Trey and Red think I had changed for the better, I did have to donate a bunch of money to an animal shelter. But don't worry. I purchased the shelter, kicked out all the disgusting animals, and I'm turning it into the newest location for my tanning salon chain, Brooklyn Von Brown. Which, if you ask me, is a lot more to serve the community. So right about now, your tiny brains are probably asking, but why, Brooklyn? Why would you do all of this? I did this to maintain the hierarchy to show Red and Trey that despite what they think they've achieved in WWE, I'm the star and they're the losers, just like it's always been. And that will never change. Anyway, I've spent way too much time talking about those rejects, so let's discuss what's next for the American hero. New trademark lawsuit pending. Well, I have some big news to share. I'm a champion. You see, I recently talked to WWE management about bringing back a title from the past, and they agreed I was the perfect superstar to award it to. So I'd like to present to you, your new WWE Divas Champion, me! You've got to be kidding me. I guess this explains why I was told to inform Red that the Divas Championship was already spoken for. You know, maybe in the future, Trey, you should be a little more careful about who sees your phone. You never know what they could find on there. Like maybe even a copy of a list outlining all their friends' dreams and ambitions. Clearly, Red has heard and seen enough. Well, she should be mad at her friend Trey for letting all this happen. Let's go, right now, you and me. I'm a prize fighter, and considering I've got the prize, I decide when I fight, so run along. Maybe there's something else you can cross off your list, like find someone who will take me out on a date, or fix my jacked up teeth. Those are real things on her list. I saw it. I'm coming for you and that title. Look out! This is getting out of hand. You wanted this? Well, now you got it. Thankfully, Trey is here to put an end to this. It's Samoa Joe. Where did he come from? It's obvious Brooklyn and Samoa Joe are always two steps ahead of Red and Trey.
And now Brooklyn is going to force Red to watch her best friend get destroyed by Samoa Joe yet again. He's suffered enough. Come on, don't do it. No. Trey might be seriously injured. This, this is bad. Well, Trey's condition's unclear. One thing is, the duo of Brooklyn Von Braun and Samoa Joe will annihilate anyone who attempts to get in their way. So what's the verdict? Nothing too serious. I'll just be out a couple weeks. You're lucky. That could have ended your career. <laughs> it would take a much worse attack than that to end my career. Or being offered the hosting gig on America's Next Top Hand Model, which is the best show on TV, hands down. See? I'm a natural. So, are you mad that Brooklyn saw the list on my phone? I was. But I think I'm over it, considering you almost got snapped in half trying to help me. Besides, I just found out next week I have a number one contenders match for the Divas Championship. So I'm still gonna cross it off the list. Good. At least one of us will be in the title picture. What do you mean? Aren't you gonna use your rematch clause when you heal up? I would if I had one. Turns out one of the other loose ends Brooklyn took care of before she stepped down as GM was removing the rematch clause from my contract. So if I want another shot at Samoa Joe, I'm gonna have to earn it just like anyone else. I know you can do it. But first, you need to focus on getting better. I guess it's just like on America's Next Top Hand model when Andrea jammed her finger playing volleyball and lost the Christmas engagement ring campaign. It took a lot of hard work and moisturizing, but in a couple months her hand was back in top form and she booked the Valentine's Day spot, which was way bigger than the Christmas gig. I must have missed that episode. I can get you a copy. I have every one of them saved. I think I got the gist of it. Your loss. <laughs>